MaxPulse is a simple, user-friendly, non-invasive medical device which provides measurement using heart rate variability and accelerated plethysmography to access overall cardiovascular and autonomic nervous system function. MaxPulse diagnoses stress assessment, assessment of autonomic nervous system function, predicts cardiovascular disorders, and arterial sclerosis. The autonomic nervous system is the part of the brain that regulates activities of internal organs. The aim of the autonomic nervous system is to maintain homeostasis. It regulates key functions involuntarily through its two branches, the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. In situations that require alertness and energy, such as facing danger or doing physical activity, the ANS mobilizes the sympathetic nervous system to mobilize the body for action. This division increases cardiac output, accelerates respiratory rate, releases stored energy, and dilates the pupils. At the same time, it also inhibits body functions that are less important during emergencies, such as digestion and urination. By contrast, the parasympathetic system conserves and restores. It slows heart rate, decreases respiratory rate, and stimulates digestion and stored energy. Diseases related to autonomic nervous system dysfunction include diabetes, hypertension, irritable bowel syndrome, headaches and migraines, cardiac events, depression, anxiety, sleep disorders, obesity, chronic fatigue, and concentration or memory loss. While there are several methods to check the autonomic nervous system, heart rate variability has proven to be the most reliable. The autonomic nervous system, which affects the sinoatrial node, is changed every moment by internal and external environment. Heart rate variability is the degree of fluctuation in the length of the intervals between the heartbeats. To get the test, the patient will have a photoelectric clip placed on the fingertip. In just three minutes, the device will track the patient's heart rate and through algorithm can accurately assess arterial hardening. The report deciphers between large and small arteries and capillaries, indicating any potential issues with circulation. The provider will have access to instant info before the final report. This screen shows the arterial health of the patient. EC is the eccentric constriction. This represents the contraction power of the vessels from the left ventricle. AE is arterial elasticity. This analyzes the blood circulation, the vascular elasticity, and resistance of the vessels. It detects early cardiovascular disease like atherosclerosis and peripheral circulation dysfunction. RBV is the remaining blood volume. This shows the remaining blood volume in the vessels after systolic contraction on the heart. If the blood vessels are healthy, there is little remaining blood volume. If the vascular state improves, the remaining blood volume will decrease. This screen shows stress levels, which includes autonomic nervous system activity imbalance, fatigue index, electrocardiac stability, physical and mental stress, as well as stress resistance. Finally, the results screen includes the final report for arterial stiffness. The heart does not beat consistently, so the report shows the percentage of beats that fall into each level of stiffness. This patient has a level 1 stiffness 60.4% of the time, which is excellent, and level 2 39.6% of the time. This gives the provider a more precise measurement. Physicians can bill for this test routinely using code 95921, which reimburses around $85 with Medicare. Suggested retail price for this device is $9,950, so it takes less than 120 tests to break even. An average provider would be able to use this device several times per day, so it would typically take most practices one to two months to recoup their cost. If you would like more information about adding this or any other program to your sales portfolio, you can sign up directly by visiting everyancillary.com. You may also subscribe to our YouTube channel to find other medical sales training videos. To stay on top of all the latest medical ancillary programs and industry trends, 
You can also subscribe to the Medical Ancillary Sales Podcast and Medical Practice Trends Podcast. Of course, you can also follow us on Twitter, where you can find the most up-to-date information about the medical ancillary sector, so you can stay a step ahead of the competition. Our Twitter handle is Every Ancillary. Links to subscribe to each of these are provided in the video's description.